Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to build a birdhouse like this. And here I have a couple examples that I already built. One is made out of red oak and the other is made out of poplar. But there are lots of other choices. The, these two are fairly expensive wood, but you could get something cheaper. Uh, the dimensions I use are a one by six board uh, and the reason I do that use that is because it can uh, uh, it minimizes the amount of cutting you have to do and it comes out to a pretty good size in the end and it's a somewhat limited number of tools you need but um, also the size hole that you drill into it can affect what kind of bird stays in it. Uh, the oak one here has a one and a half inch hole, which is good for bluebirds. Uh, the one on the right is a one and one fourth inch hole, which is good for a little bit smaller birds, like a titmouse or, or, or a chickadee, something like that. But you can always look online to see what size hole is best for the kind of bird that you want to uh, build it for. So in this model I have made the back out of plexiglass and that makes it nice if you want to mount it near your window or somewhere that you can see inside and that makes it more of a fun experience to to see what's happening inside. Uh, but some of the other features are I have cut slots in the in the front under the hole so that it makes it easier for the adult birds and especially the baby birds to get out. And then I've created some holes in the bottom and some a little slit at the top to allow for ventilation. So, so I'm going to show you the steps how to build this and you can try it yourself if you like. This is the popular board I'm going to use to make the birdhouse and when you buy it at the store, it's going to say six inches by one inch, but uh, in reality, the dimensions are about five and a half inches by three quarters of an inch, and that's because the the measurements on the board is is before it's been sanded smooth and parallel and flat and everything like that. So the first piece I'm going to cut out is going to be ten inches long, and that will be the one of the sides for the birdhouse. I'm going to use the first piece that I cut out uh, as a template to measure the second side of the birdhouse. That, that way it'll make sure that they're both the same length, uh, which they should both be 10 inches after doing this. I'm going to use the my miter saw to, to cut these pieces, but I highly recommend uh, whatever saw you have to to learn all the safety features and learn how to secure the board to to it and use your eye protection, your hearing protection, and dust collection and all that stuff when making the cuts. Uh, most importantly, just keep your hands away from the blade and you know anything that doesn't feel right you know, consider what, what the setup is and doing it a different way. So now that I have the two sides for the birdhouse, I want to cut a 15 degree angle on both of these boards so that the roof will have a slope and allow the water to run off. I'm going to clamp both of these boards together 
and cut this 15 degree angle at the same time so the boards will be the same length and line up well. Uh, and I'm going to just cut off only as much as I need to to get that 15 degree angle for the full width of the boards. In preparation for making the front of the birdhouse, I'm going to return the saw miter back to zero degrees and set the bevel to 15 degrees to match the 15 degrees on the side. First I'm going to cut the 15 degree bevel on the end of the board and again this is going to be the front of the birdhouse. So I'm going to flip this board over and use one of the sides that I already created to uh, make a measurement of how long it needs to be. By measuring it this way, all the, the two sides and the bottom should line up and the bottom will be flat. To give you an idea of how the birdhouse is coming together so far, I'm just going to stand up the, the two sides in the front so you can see kind of how it goes together. Here I'm measuring the location of the hole for the, the, the entrance for the birds. So I'm measuring about 1 and 7 eighths inch from the top and centering the hole left to right. Uh, this location, uh, being close to the top, gives the birds some protection from, with the roof above and also keeps the space uh, inside the birdhouse available at below them but uh, here I'm setting up the drill press with a one and one fourth inch bit uh, so that it will be elevated and not hit the the base of the drill but I'm also going to clamp this wood down really well so that it can't move uh, and that's an important thing to do because uh, sometimes the drill bit can catch in the wood and spin it around or pick it up off the drill base and that can hit you or could also mess up the, the drill hole that you wanted to make. So you can choose different size bits for this hole. Um, you can look online and find out what size holes work best for different kinds of birds. Um, this one and one fourth inch hole is uh, for a fairly small bird, uh, usually like songbirds, so that works out well. Now that I have the hole drilled in the front of the birdhouse, I'm going to flip it over and, and make some, some marks uh, one half inch apart to create some slots in the wood that acts kind of like a ladder for the birds to, to get out. And specifically, it helps the baby birds get out. So. Usually what I do is just create, just make some marks uh, one half inch apart from the bottom of the hole down to close to the bottom of the birdhouse. I set up the saw so that it will only saw a little ways into the wood and also set up the saw so that it will hit the center of the wood and, and lock down the sliding mechanism so that 
it, it, it won't move from there. Usually at this point I sand the pieces uh, before I put them together. It's a, it's a lot easier to do some sanding now than after things are all put together. Now I'm going to glue these pieces together. Um, I usually just create some some blocks with some clamps to help hold the side in place uh, while I while I do this uh, but I put just you know a decent amount of glue to to cover the side of the wood and it'll make good contact with the front the glue itself is enough to hold this wood together but while it's drying, it needs something to hold it in place. And to do that, I use a couple of brads that really is very small and makes a small hole in the front. And um, that's all it does is to hold it in place while it's drying. Now that the sides and the front are together, I'm going to make the bottom uh, of the birdhouse. And again, I don't use a measuring tape to do this measuring. I, I use the part that's already built to make a measurement. And since I'm going to create the back in plexiglass, I just put this piece here for the, for the distance and make a mark that will put the, bo the bottom just to the back of the plexiglass. I'm going to drill some holes into the bottom of the birdhouse, uh, partly as ventilation, Partly as drainage in case any water gets inside the birdhouse, although I don't expect water to actually get in there. Now that I have the bottom finished, I'm going to attach it to the, the bottom of the birdhouse. And again, I'm going to just do this the same as as I did the rest of the birdhouse and, and glue it to, to the bottom and use some brads to hold it in place. Because the roof needs to hang out over the rest of the birdhouse, I'm going to make it out of two pieces of wood. And I measure each of those to be seven inches. And so I'll make two of these and glue them together and, as, into one board. And that'll be the, the top of the birdhouse. For the back of the birdhouse, I'm going to use plexiglass so that you can see inside. Um, so I took this piece and marked 
the size of it and I'm using my jigsaw with a fine tooth blade to, to cut it. Uh, you can also use like a scoring knife and snap off the, the pieces, but in this case I'm using a quarter inch thick plexiglass and it's kind of hard. You have to score it a lot of times and it's pretty hard to break it off. So the jigsaw makes it much easier to cut these. With the plexiglass cut to the right size, I'm going to make some marks on the plexiglass where to drill the holes for the screws. Uh, also, I'm placing this plexiglass in such a way that there's a little bit of a gap at the bottom and also the top, and this is mainly for ventilation. In addition to drilling holes in this plexiglass, I also countersunk those holes so the screws would be, screw heads would be level with the surface. Uh, so I'm going to transcribe those holes to the, to the wood so that I can also drill, pre-drill holes in the wood. Now that the holes are drilled in the plexiglass, I can take off the protective coating that's, that's on the plexiglass and attach it to the birdhouse. So I'm, here I'm using stainless steel screws to uh, try to prevent rust when it's out in the weather. With the top cut and glued together, uh, it's a little longer than what I'd like for putting on the birdhouse. Um, the actual length is kind of personal preference, but I tend to let it hang off a uh, half inch to an inch on the back and then about two inches on the front. So I'm just going to cut a little off the length of this so that it meets that link now that the top is cut to length I'm going to attach it to the rest of the birdhouse using wood glue again and a couple of brads to hold it in place Here's the finished birdhouse on the right uh, and a similar one on the left. But uh, I hope you got some uh, insight into how to build something like this and maybe even try it yourself. Uh, thanks for watching.